everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy and today I wanted to talk about whether risk management can be considered as a service. And uh, to begin with I wanted to quickly say that I'm not talking about service provided by a consultant. I don't believe there is there's a scenario where a, an external person can provide a sufficiently in-depth uh, analysis of any kind of uh, any type of risk because just risk management is so intricate and intimate and you really have to know the tiny details of how the company operates to provide a proper risk analysis something which is just beyond comprehension for any external consultant I am talking about as a service provided internally by the risk manager to the executive team to the employees to the business units to the board of directors to the audit committee and so on and I, I personally found over time that thinking about risk management as a service really helps me put things in the perspective. Because as a service, as a risk manager, as a service provider, you have to choose one road or the other. Like choose your strategy A or strategy B. Um, or you can combine the two. Strategy A is uh, create the trust in risk management, build the relationship, shape your service offering, um, explain to everybody what, the co what competencies, what tools you are using and how that can be helpful for business decision making. So go the friendly way. Convince everybody that risk management is valuable and they should invite you to help them perform risk analysis on their decisions. Um, it is plausible extremely difficult because human nature says that nobody will let you into their area of responsibility and nobody would want to share um, their sort of you know personal secrets and their risks that they're taking um, so it's a difficult task but they, there is that sort of friendly way and all the risk all risk managers have to follow that road uh, as well and there's the sort of this the other option option B by integrating into policies and procedures by making it a formal requirement to perform risk analysis on key material business high high uncertainty decisions um, by making it a requirement the business units have no other choice but to invite the risk manager to help them with the um, with the risk analysis and you can sort of reinforce as the risk manager you can reinforce that by building a relationship with internal auditors and quality checking the risk analysis. If uh, um, the business units don't invite the risk manager and do the risk analysis themselves, and if they do a good job, great, this is excellent, this is the best you can possibly imagine. Um, the reality is that is very rarely going to happen. Most of the time they, they are going to do risk analysis, they're not going to invite the risk manager and as a result will end up with a pretty poor effort. They will miss a lot of risks, they will misinterpret the impact on objectives, they'll ignore a lot of uncertainties and that's why quality control helps. So, so to offer risk management as a service there's really two options. The friendly option or the sort of uh, oversight integration into processes option. And they, I don't think it's the choice between one or the other, it's the combination of both. And this is what risk managers should really be doing in their organization. They should be explaining to everybody how valuable risk analysis is in decision making to convince them to request jobs, to send proposals for risk analysis to the risk manager. And they also have to integrate parallel to that, they have to integrate into business processes to just nudge people a little bit towards the risk manager to um, help them build that, perform that risk analysis. Uh, I am interested in hearing your thoughts, please write underneath this video. If you want to sign up for the Risk Academy channel on YouTube, please do by clicking on this button here. And for now, thank you and goodbye.